How is it that scientists discover that some things work and other things don't? They use what is called a scientific method. This means applying a structured procedure to carry out systematic investigation. This is done to either confirm or disprove some piece of knowledge. It sounds complicated, but it's really about trying out different things to see what reactions you get and making sure you always record what you're doing. Here's an example. You have a wood-fired stove in your kitchen and you've noticed that the fire behaves differently depending on how much wind is outside and how much charcoal is covering the vents. You think it might be the availability of air that affects how the fire burns, but you don't know for sure. So you decide to investigate. This is where you apply a scientific procedure. You have an observation and then formulate an idea or what we call a hypothesis. Your hypothesis will be something like this. Fire needs a steady flow of fresh air in order to burn. So you build an experiment to test that hypothesis. We will look at this experiment in more detail later. If you and other scientists get the same results from the experiment, then it means that the hypothesis is scientifically proven. As scientists generate hypotheses and conduct experiments, they add to our growing body of knowledge. The more experiments that are done, the more we increase our understanding of the way things work. What we call facts are actually hypotheses that have been scientifically proven. We start to discover how things work and what the relationship between things are. Some hypotheses turn out to be not true or cannot be confirmed in experiments. But this is an important part of the scientific process as it eliminates things so we don't have to try it again. So by who and when is the scientific method used? Scientists apply the scientific procedure when doing project or research work. It is also used in medical research to develop new medicines and treatments. Industrial engineers use the scientific method to develop new materials and technology that makes production more efficient. Even farmers use the scientific method to investigate why crops fail or why they grow well under certain conditions. The scientific method is one of the greatest discoveries of mankind as it has led to countless other discoveries being made. Now you know more about it. It starts with an idea that you want to prove, which we call a hypothesis. We then design an experiment to test whether the hypothesis is true or false. If it's true, we have learned something new. If not, we have to come up with a different hypothesis. The more hypotheses we come up with and experiments we design, the more we add to the growing body of human knowledge. But this is only an introduction. Next, we will go through all the steps of the scientific method. It's a fun and exciting process that never ends.